On this episode of Road Dirt, Ted Edwards rides the 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus in the mountains of Boise, Idaho. Stay tuned. Hello Road Dirt readers and subscribers, Ted Edwards with Road Dirt Motorcycle Media and today we're in the beautiful forest north of Boise, Idaho to test Yamaha's newest sport touring offering for 2024, the Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus. What I'm really excited to test about this bike is their adaptive cruise control that has a front mounted radar that senses the car or bike in front of you and automatically adjusts the speed of the bike and links that to the bike's braking system. I'm anxious to try it out and see how it works. Today I am riding the updated for 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus. Now, despite the adventure bike looks, Yamaha's Tracer 9 GT Plus is a sport touring motorcycle. I've always been a fan of this big cross-plane triple. It makes great noises, has plenty of torque, and a great mid-range. There are a lot of features on the Tracer that would make this a great commuter or touring mount. The saddlebags you see here come standard and they fit a full face helmet. The windscreen is adjustable and it's easy to do with my gloves on. It adjusts as well and the footbags are also adjustable. Right now, I'm in a very comfortable and upright riding position. Updates for this year, the old double screen display of last year has been replaced with a single 7 inch display. The old squirrel wheel is gone, replaced by a joystick and that makes navigating the bike's ride modes and other technology pretty intuitive. You might think that with an upright riding position and the adventure bike looks that this would be a more, oh how should you put it, a sedate motorcycle, but this bike can riff when you want it to. The big triple motor has a wide mid-range, the bike tips in pretty well and feels super solid in the corners, and the quick shifter, as always, is a nice touch. It is a blast to ride in the canyons. I love this bike. It is a great ride to work bike and this thing flat rips when you ask it to. And it has enough comfort and capacity to make long weekend trips or weeks long trips very doable. Well, we've spent all day riding the new 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus around these gorgeous roads north of Boise. What I was most excited about testing was the new adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control, just to get right to the point, works ridiculously well. In our pack of riders and our press, I would put the cruise control at 60 and if the person in front of me was going 60, of course, it would hold it in a perfect distance, and by the way, that following distance is adjustable with the left toggle on the handlebar switch. If the person in front of me slowed down, the bike would automatically apply the brakes gradually, not severe enough to shock you, but just gradually enough to back off from the bike in front of you. I saw this work all the way going from 60 miles an hour down to 30 miles an hour, and it worked seamlessly. 
And, and this is impressive too, not only does the bike slow down, but allows you to use the quick shifter to shift gears. I was able to shift from sixth gear all the way down through fifth, fourth, and into third at 30 miles an hour with the adaptive cruise control on. That to me was shocking. To be able to have a bike that has that kind of flexibility is remarkable. And when the group sped up to do 60 miles an hour, I was able to upshift using the quick shift to go to third, fourth, fifth, and back up to sixth and get the bike back up to speed again. The ability to use the bike's quick shifter while the cruise control is engaged, as the cruise control adjusts its speed to the bike in front of you, is something that no other Japanese manufacturer can do. Now, as for the rest of the bike, the new display is better than the old display that had two separate screens with the nose in the middle. The seven inch thin film transfer is beautiful. Everything else on the bike from uh, the toggle switch is now a thumb switch instead of the squirrel wheel. If you had the old squirrel wheel, you know how frustrating that was, so all the menus are easy to navigate. The windscreen is adjustable to a couple different positions. Now, being six foot two, take my height into account, I had a hard time getting the screen positioned to a position where it wouldn't give me buffeting in the helmet. It either gave me turbulence at the top of the helmet or at the bottom, but if you're not six foot two, I don't think this is a problem. Yamaha also offers an aftermarket windscreen that would probably take care of that. The saddlebags do come with the bike and I was able to fit a full face Arai helmet in each of the saddlebags perfectly with no issues. Now, if you know me, you know I ride a lot, sometimes 10,000 miles a year and sometimes 10,000 miles within five months. When it comes down to it, looking for a sport touring bike, I would consider a Tracer 9 GT. I love the cross plane engine, the quick shifter is slick, the cruise control is amazing, it comes standard with heated grips. It's a bike that I would tour on. So, if you want anything more, go to our website, like and subscribe. This is Ted Edwards with Road Dirt, Ride Life.